Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters I hope you're all praying your salads as well as looking to the Quran and Hadith for guidance in your everyday life If you're watching this video and it's salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please also check out the description section of this video to get my new dawah products and to support the channel I was sent a series of recent clips by a channel member of a lifelong Palestinian American Muslim who goes by the name of Fuzi and new Muslim revert Sneeko I'm not making this video to disrespect either of these brothers or to haram police them. However, they are public figures that talk about Islam regularly to their large followings, along with a host of non-Islamic topics, and at times promote things that are forbidden for Muslims, and even portray this in a positive way. I understand that Sneeko is new to Islam, and Fusi has said he is just returning to practicing the deen, but I feel it is important that Islam is not mixed up with modern day evil, as it misrepresents a religion and even makes a mockery of the laws we are told to abide by as Muslims, especially as it is being broadcasted so publicly. Publicly. I've compiled an extended clip that shows the positive and negative things these brothers are engaging in. A lot of stuff I couldn't include because it was just too vulgar. This footage made me feel both happy for them at times and at the same time confused and suspicious as to if they were being genuine or not and honestly made me question if Fusi is just using Islam for clout. It's not my place to judge because we all have sinned and we all must repent. Let's roll the clip. Fusi, real quick, where's your family from? Palestine. Okay, okay, my family's from Sudan. So, Kalam Arabi, I'm assuming, right? Probably fluent. Sharafna, Sharafna, Habibi. Oi, free Palestine in the yeah. chat. I didn't even know you're yeah. Palestine. I, Everybody I, in the I, chat, I, free Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. Do you want to do a gym stream? 100%. I want to go to the masjid with you and I want to go to the gym with you. Wait, can we stream in the masjid? We could turn it off on BI right back screen for the 10 minutes. But all I know is what you if intentions. Yeah, mom, they might let you do it. Yeah, if but we have good do, intentions, yeah. then um, I think yeah. there's no problem with that. It'd be good to. Yeah. Spread the deen. It, it's good. It's good dawah. So when you were doing this gross stuff, were you going to the masjid at all? Were you going to a Juma prayer, or you were you were complete, no, no, you were no, atheist? Definitely. I wasn't atheist. Even in my lowest days, I knew that Allah was the only one true God, yeah. and I knew Muhammad was His messenger. But it doesn't mean I followed the religion mm. because. Like I was too sinful. Well, the first thing I did today and yesterday, the first thing I did when I woke up is I thank God. And then the day is actually much better after that. Instead of like, bleh, like if, literally the first thing, because you said that and then I remember that as soon as I woke up, I thank God for creating everything, for creating me, for my family right now, for my health, for everything I'm able to do. And then I woke up grateful. And then every, the day was automatically better after that. If that's the first thing you think of, if you, if you thank God and you, you're, you're reminded about what he's provided you and everything that you have, your day will automatically better than if you didn't think that at all. So you know what I say in every single dua in the morning when I pray? Every single prayer in the morning, the first thing I thank God for, because the first time I was successful, I was so ungrateful. Now, I thank God every morning. You got to thank God for everything you've been given right now. And by being grateful and content with having all you have right now, God is going to give you more. If you keep that belief and you stay in your deen that way, you're not going to, you're not going to fall off that way. People judge me all day, especially the Muslim community. I was in a club last night partying with hundreds of girls with Bryce Hall sober, getting twerked on, doing all this. Shit. I still go home and I pray, right? It's between me and my God. So the one thing that I can't lose right now, and my oldest brother is the one who told me this when I was most depressed, I was suicidal. My oldest brother pulls me to the side. You know what he says to me at my parents' house? He goes, Yusuf, if you kill yourself, I won't be sad that I lost a brother. I'll be sad because of what Allah is going to say to you on the day of judgment. Yeah. He goes, I don't care what's happening Oof. to you in life. You have to pray five times a day sincerely and mean it and your life will get better. I didn't believe him, but I prayed five times a day from that day, and I'm still praying five times a day now. And subhanAllah, the way my life has changed is insane. My message is crystal clear. How I present my message needs work. Yesterday, I was trying to inspire this kid who has no confidence. Um, he was about to go to the club. I was trying to inspire him to go talk to girls, whatever. If you're going to be here on a Friday, man, we should go for a Juma prayer. If not, we can go on a weekday. I'll be there, I'll be there all week. Okay, well, inshallah, I'll see you soon. Gym oh, stream God. and Majid, man, I look right, forward to seeing you, man. I'm so G7, it hurts, cuz. Okay. You're cute, dog. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so online. I see why girls are into you. Ladies, can you take a picture of me and my boyfriend? No, no. No, don't put that. You have a very powerful voice, you know Yeah. That's why I prayed in rehab and I said, Yeah, Allah, I know you gave me the power of voice to heal people spiritually, emotionally, and um, mentally. They're watching me live. I go crazy. I dance. I do. I perform. Da, da, da. And I look at them and I say, And you said I'm on coin, right? 
It's all through Allah. Allah is blessing me right now. Allah, It's already up. My team is fast. My team doesn't play. Good for reminding me. Bismillah. Be safe everywhere you go, brother. Thank you, brother. Inshallah. So we gotta be, always be doing stuff. I wanna be going to the gym more, learning about Islam more, um, getting smarter. You believe in God? Yeah. You believe that a man is a man, a woman is a woman? Yeah. You're your right way. You're conservative. I know like people might say differently because you act a certain way, like you just said, take a picture with my boyfriend and I was gay. But I know like those, that stuff is a joke. But that's a part. That's just a joke. Yeah, right, right. Okay, here's the deciding factor for a lot of things. Can, can a man become a woman? I'm not answering that. I'm not ready to answer that. You're a Muslim, so if you believe in Islam... But here's my position in our man. Yeah. You could do whatever the f*** you want. You're going to reply to God at the end of the day. It's not my, it's not my concern. What, you, what Uzi's saying is you're going to go to hell. I didn't say that. I didn't <laughs> you say that. You're going to burn in hell if you believe I didn't say that. At the end of the day, they have to report to God just as I do. I don't care what they do. Cut your off, get a fake do anything, I don't care. Well, here's a better question. What would you do if your son wanted to do that? I'm just going to raise my son to the best of my ability, let him know who I am, what my morals are, even with the religion. I'm not going to raise my son and say, Islam is the only religion, you have to be Muslim, da da da. I'm going to say, son, our family is Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only God, Muhammad is his messenger. Do your research, study every religion, and whatever you decide, come back and tell me. My parents not doing that for me, and just me growing up saying, if you don't believe in God, you're going to hell. So push you if away. you look at a girl, you're going to hell. Yeah. If you touch a girl, you're going to hell. If you smoke, you're going to hell. That pushed me away from religion so far. I lived a double life for like 30 years. But then you came back. I came back on my own though. Not from my parents telling me, That's not, not, not from my brother yelling at me, not from anybody, not from the audience yeah. yelling at me. Use I chose. to get for somebody to have faith. My aunt? Growing up, she didn't let her kids watch TV. She made them pray five times a day. She didn't let them talk to friends. She was so strict on them. When, my, when her son became 18, everything she held him back from, he still went out and did. Chad, do you want to see a double date tonight? Let me call her, let me call her, let me call her. Which I'm here eating with Sneeko. He's wondering if you wanted to go on a double date tonight with me and him. How long, how long is church? That's easy, we only live once and then we go to the afterlife. Come on, your finest Already, you don't even have to get ready. Come in sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. All right, I'll see you tonight, all right? She got French tips on. That's what I'm talking about, man. He's a, a couple of no makeup Dog, on. this is the energy I'm on. I told her, I'm 33, I'm grown. I don't waste your time or mine. I say exactly what I want, no bull****. I want you. She said, we'll see about that. I said, khalas, done. See you soon, Hayati. She said, I don't speak Arabic. I said, you will. <laughs> Yo, assalamu alaikum, my brother. My name's Fusi Yusuf, nice to meet you. I'm good, I'm blessed, brother, God is good. Seek God, dog. Say astaghfirullah three times right now. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. And that's for you, it's not for what you say. Repent, dog, repent. Andrew Tate really failed on Aiden. Like, he, he tried to make that his project and it just didn't work out. That's not Andrew Tate, Bailey. It's Andrew Tate. No, no, he, he got locked up, he went, he went to prison and everything. That's Aiden's responsibility. Right. Aiden is gayer after that. Like, he, he was supposed to be- And what's wrong with that? Path. What's wrong with Hellfire? I'm non-binary and gay. Hey. The problem is, because I know there's heterosexual people watching, we can't just do streams where people are acting zesty and fruity and saying gay stuff. Like, we need to go to the gym. We need to do another prayer. Oh, we have prayer also. Can your fans stop calling this place? This is fun. Sorry, I don't mean to. You're very pretty, by the way. But wait, can I ask you, who do you, who do you think is cuter, me or me? Me? You want to go on a date tonight? What's your Instagram? Don't, don't do no gay stuff. It's not gay to kiss a Muslim brother. I know you're not my security, but if he does gay stuff, can you step in? It's not gay, dog. Can that be part of the stipulations? I don't even have a half chub. That's, that now counted as something. It's flaccid right now. And I'm sitting right next to him. He's been rubbing my thigh this entire time. Uh, what do you think about Israel? I don't have a problem with Israel. Uh, what I always tell people. No, listen. Okay. You, just by saying free Palestine, I'm not saying Israel. I'm not saying Jews. I have a lot of Jewish friends. I have a lot of friends from Israel. Saying free Palestine is asking for justice. It's not from the other side. So where do you think they should go? I don't want to talk about that right now because I'm not. I'm not. I'm too ignorant on the conflict. My sister does her whole life. My sister's a civil rights activist for Palestine. Yo, I'm here with my Muslim brother, Sneeko. Assalamualaikum.
He doesn't know Surat Al-Fatiha yet, so I'll be teaching him that while he's here, and we're also going to pray right now. Hey, make we'll do. Make we'll do. I am going to, damn. You mean he teach you? Uh, I know how to do it. You do this, do this. Okay. Three times. Start. And then... Count on me. Start, start. Shut the water on. Go like this three times. Get a cup with your hand three times. Blow out your nose three times. Wash your face three times. All the way to top. Of, yeah. To the hairline? Yeah, yeah. And then I want you to start with your right hand three times. You don't have to elbow. do your head too? Huh? You have to do your head. We'll get there. Uh, right hand three times to the elbow. And then let it drop. And then go to your left hand. Hair all the way back to the bottom of your neck three times. Ears in the earlobe and around the top of the ears three times. Okay. And mm -hmm. then um, normally you're supposed to do the bottom of your feet. But when you shower it, when you do it in the morning and you do it on the bottom of your feet, it's permissible to do it on the top of your foot right here in shoes or socks. So I have to wash my shoes? It's really supposed to be your feet. So take off my shoes? Correct. To the haters, like, I don't even see it as a religion. It's just the truth about everything that exists. The so word of God. There must be one creator. One intelligent being must have created something, something that we can't comprehend. It's the only religion that has stayed consistent through 1,400 years. It's the only book that hasn't been changed a million times. If there was a man-made religion, then why can't you drink? Why can't you do anything fun? Why can't you gamble? Why is all the... It's being a good Muslim is one of the hardest things That's a fire take. That's, that's a so fire take. That's how you know it's not man-made because all the things that men want to do naturally, sex before marriage, alcohol, all this stuff, you can't do it. So if it was made, it must be intelligent. Yeah. All right, ready? Is this facing... Uh, that's facing, yeah, the Kibla. I did it on my phone already. Ready? Allah upon 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 Allah Amin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum. La ta'khudhu sinatu wa la nawm. Lahum wa fis samawati wa hum fil ard. Man dha ladhi yashra'u anhu illa bi idnih. Ya'lamu ma bayni aydihum wa khalfahum. Wal yuhituna bi shay'im illa bi misha'a. Wasi'a kursiyuhu al samawati wa al-ard. Wal ya'uduhu hifduhu ma wa huwa al-ayl al-azim. Allahu Akbar. Bismillah <laughs> Malik Yom al-Din, Iyaka Nabdu wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ahdan Sirat al-Mustaqim, Sirat al-Din Anamtu Alayhim, Ghayr al-Maghdubi Alayhim, Walad-Dalim, Ameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Wal-Asir, Inna al-Insana la fi khusr, Illa al-Ladhina amanu wa amilu al-Salihati, Wa tuwasu bil-Hakki, Wa tuwasu bil-Sabih. Allahu Akbar. Sabin Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sami Allah Allahu Akbar. 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 Sami Allahu Alhamdulillah. 
الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم الله السلام عليكم الله I'm proud of you dog what's he yeah anything you need help with Islam wise I'm not the best but I know all the sheikhs like Omar Salaman everybody they all DM me just ask me anything I'll ask them my brother too my brother knows everything so from this extended clip, it is clear both brothers have Islam in their hearts. However, it is also clear they are publicly engaging in haram behaviours, despite knowing better. This type of contradictory behaviour is dangerous for young, impressionable minds of Muslim kids, and also leaves us as an ummah open to ridicule from other faiths and non-religious opposition. Let's look at the positives first. Both of them acknowledge how important prayer is on numerous occasions, so much so they were performing salah on camera. Fusay even said he prays all five salahs without faith. And it was great how Fusi assisted Sneeko with how to do wudu and pray Salah, as well as offering him access to his network of Muslims if Sneeko had any questions about Islam. A couple of points I would like to make are that it is disliked for men to pray in shorts, and also for someone to pray with their eyes closed. Again, I'm not haram policing, just letting viewers know not to follow this practice. Now let's look at the negatives. Swearing, whilst using Islamic phraseology in the same sentence, defeats the purpose. The promotion of dating outside marriage is not permitted, and furthermore, using Islamic terms terminology to flirt is extremely disrespectful to the deen. Fusi acting like he is attracted to men, even if he was joking, is not very Islamic at all. Also, the fact he was not willing to take a Muslim stance on the Western gender debate is a red flag. Fusi making passes at Sneeko was clearly making Sneeko uncomfortable. This is not how Muslim men should behave. Fusi even advocated for Muslim parents not to be strict in implementing Islam in their households. Him and his cousins seem like their upbringing wasn't strict enough. And the fact that he said he would be loosely teaching his own kids Islam mixed with modern values is a recipe for disaster. This is why my husband and I have created an Islamic fellowship where Muslim parents in the West can join us in banding together to ensure our kids don't lead destructive hedonistic lifestyles. Links are in the description. In reality, this type of vulgar content should not be made by Muslims in the first place. But if they are doing so, they should not even mention Islam out of respect. Mixing halal with haram causes fitna and this distortion of Islam can even be considered a form of shirk. I'm not trying to take away from the positive these brothers are doing, but we must ensure we choose care who we let our kids view and be influenced by online, even if they are Muslim. Let's be patient with both these brothers and make dua that they come closer to Allah SWT and use their massive platforms to give dawah to the world. Ameen. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Jazakallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.